Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your July 2018 general reading. That's exactly what it is, a general reading. It will resonate, it won't resonate. Um, only you will know that, okay? Check your moon and rising sign. Thank you to those who have liked, shared, commented, subscribed to the channel. Thank you. I'm over 10,000 subscribers now. Uh, it means a lot. Take advantage of the special that I just started. Uh, it's a $5 one question via email reading. So, yeah. Um, if you get that one burning question, take advantage of that. Send me an email. Go over to my website. Go to specials. It'll be below also. Um, and you'll see the $5 special or take advantage of, of another reading there. Uh, find me on Instago also. So that's it for the announcements. Okay. All right. So in love, we have past, present, future, career, and finance, additional cards of support. All right, so for love, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. Nice. Could talk about reconciliation, um, the need to celebrate. It is uh, the summer months here in the United States, so a lot of people are taking trips, getting catching up with friends and family, family reunions now. Just uh, good times, all right? I'm hoping that that's what that is. We all know the adverse of this card, but let's just say it's good times. All right, in the past, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Five of Wands. Some of you in the past, you were thinking about having really initiating this, maybe with a, a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Ten of Pentacles is um, the solid family life some of you wanted this the husband the wife the kids the dog you were trying to have that or you felt like you had it but there was always conflict there conflict of interest either you were competing to hold on to this some of you were trying to reignite the the flame, the passion, the desire in the midst of maybe an already established relationship. Um, either a long-term relationship or marriage. You were trying to really fight for this energetically. A and or there are a lot of arguments that you thought you wanted to. For some of you, it's like two sets of Gemini. Some of you, you had somebody you thought you wanted to establish this with them, but there might have been a lot of argument, fighting. This person might get a, might get a lot of attention or vice versa. It's you that gets the, the attention. You felt like there were always conflicting issues within uh, the relationship, but there was still passion there. You know, it, it, something still held you two together. Let's see where you are presently. The world, the magician, and the fool. So some of you are just, you've chosen to walk away from, some of you who are married or in long-standing relationships just chose to walk away. You have an ending, let it close, let the door close. You've gone as far as you can go. You've done as much as you can do. This is like, wow, this is, wow. Some of you let a karmic situation go. Okay, so we, karma. It ended. You learned the lesson, right? Close the door. Last card of the, the cycle of, of, of tarot, of life, the world. You let the door close. Then the next card would be uh, the fool, which you have that here. And then the magician. You might be putting the card before the horse, but it's almost sequential like like um you just let something in you just knew it wasn't working and either you're trying to manifest a new beginning before actually closing the door on a situation or uh, some of you are trying to manifest a new start in a different path maybe with the same person i don't know who this for okay future the fair lip we've got 
Sagittarius, Queen of Cups, Six of Swords. For some of you, it's that um, you're definitely finding balance. You're using your intuition. You're finding balance via spiritual practice. And you've walked away from turbulent times. And you're just trying to find peace. For some of you, either in dealing with the Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in particular, or another Air, Sun, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or in some of you, you find peace with um, a new person. And it's just, you find balance within yourself, firstly, by having this new start. And then you might have you might even find peace and serenity throughout I, I just keep hearing spirituality and to getting back in touch with yourself. This could be another person, but I'm really feeling like this is Gemini getting back to the grassroots of what made them the person that they are. Finding their own inner peace firstly and then being able to institute and give that, share that with whomever, whenever. Something just didn't work or wasn't working in the past. Presently, you've walked away. Futuristically speaking, you're just going to find balance within yourself. It could be with another person. It could be with a twin flame. Someone who's very spiritual. Could be a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone who's into the arts. You find balance with them. It could be a person or it could just be alone. You guys just get into a better place. Okay, career and finance. At the bottom of the deck, we have the six of diamond. In the playing cards deck, this card talks about trouble in relationship. Trouble in your second marriage second relationship doesn't have to be second this could be trouble trouble in a situation that probably just isn't there isn't a lot of equality it just doesn't serve you here could be could be in your uh business relationship in your job your your work relationships because this is what this is career and finance all right we have the seven of hearts the eight of clubs the jack of hearts the nine of diamond um so there might be emotional upheaval within your career sector. Some of you, it's because you want to do your own thing. There is a business idea plan that is making you restless in your current job. Um, you want it. It might be a creative pursuit. You want to start this. You want to get the ball moving fast, quick with the eight of clubs on this. Um, yeah, there's just an it. You're almost at the eight of hearts where you just want to emotionally check out. You're at the seven of hearts now where you're divided emotionally about this this career. It may have it may very well be a promising or a good career. It it's fed you this far, not just money. Um, you've learned a lot there. You're grateful for it, but there's not a lot of fulfillment here. And you might want to have a, a shift in um how you make your money, go into business for yourself, or just a new job altogether. Okay, to relate this to love, it looks like it looks like what was going on here in the past. Um, a little bit more clarity. There is um, problems in your relationship. Someone may be an unfaithful spouse or partner. Uh, broken promises here within the midst of the relationship. You guys are having communication, uh, rapid communication about the trouble in the in the relationship due to jealousy or greed. Um, it could be with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone who is dating, someone who is courting other persons, other people of interest, and you might, and someone who's coming off single. 
or you might just say, you know what, it's better for me to be single. I feel single in this relationship anyhow. They're acting single. It's better for me to just walk away. Okay. So, let's see. The bottom of the deck for the Butterfly Oracle card, we have Volunteer. Now, of course, this could be the good old-fashioned meaning of Volunteer. Get out there, do your alms. Um, get involved in some charity. <clears throat> some charity uh, pursuit some some charity uh, that benefits someone else but also this card can be a volunteer to enact the change in a situation that you're in or volunteer um, when you hear of a need that can be filled and you know you have the the means to fill that need it's almost as if when you hear that a friend or a family member is going through hard times you may be able to help in a in a certain manner you may just example you know um they may lose their job or they're looking for a better job you know your job your your um company is hiring um volunteer that information volunteer to help out in that manner so that's also a different definition of volunteer for that card and then we have relationship dynamics definitely highlighted here. Someone is aware of how they feel about the relationship now due to someone entering, exiting a relationship. Uh, another person sparking interest of, of you or of your partner. The dynamics of the relationship have changed. It is no longer just you and the other person. It could be you and another interest the dynamics have changed join in this is almost the equivalent of volunteer some of you really need to spend your time um, bettering yourself through um, giving yourself and, and being giving you'll find balance maybe that's what you're looking for here with the fairlet in the future um, you'll find balance within uh, yourself your your environment you may even meet some very great people who you'll know maybe for the rest of your life or maybe for a season but um it'll help you find enlightenment help you find engagement too some of you need to get out there and get engaged in life you're doing the same things you might go to the bar go to the party you're meeting the same type of people. Join in. Join in is also talks about not joining a situation that's virtual or online. But this is actually getting out the old-fashioned way and meeting people, you know. Welcome the new. So there is newness here for you. And we see that with the full card. Welcome it. Don't run from it don't hide from it it's here for you welcome the new whatever that may be in relationship or is or if that's for you just something personal welcome the new or if there's new vitality energy motivation um within an old relationship welcome that newness healing from the past yeah it looks like maybe the past was just turbulent um, you may have dealt with someone who had options and kept their options open. Looks like here. Um, heal from that because that does something to all of us. If ever put in that that situation, it does something to us emotionally, mentally, energetically. Uh, so you have to heal from that before you just jump into the new realizations and epiphanies. Queen of Cups. Yeah. And then the Fairlet. Like I said, you'll find... Um, things that may have the scales will be removed from your eyes now that you can you're in a place where spirit can speak to you because you've, you've walked away you found your peace um, and now you can get some realizations and epiphanies about your situation or about yourself about other people um, really really good reading okay and then the three of cups it might at the bottom of the deck for love i mean it could go either way some of you could have been dealing with a third party situation um 
in love or you'll find reconciliation uh, the need or the opportunity more so to um, have fun and good times with other people who you want to be around who enjoy you and you enjoy them it won't be forced okay so that's your reading take advantage of the five dollar one question reading via email um, if you want to find clarity on your situation remember Gemini to stay in prayer uh, I'm praying for you pray for me as well take care for now all right well take care always but uh bye for now and take care okay bye